Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, misfortune befell Ness and Paula as they were lured into a sketchy hotel room by a mysterious and also sketchy woman, and they were trapped by zombies, knocked out, and they're currently in uh, some room uh, deep underground in Threed, I'm presuming. And in their desperation, Paula sent out a psychic message to one person sh who she has never met before. Jeff, the third friend of the game, is in Winters, another country, and he is the only one that can save Ness and Paula. And it all starts with him getting out of the Snowwood boarding house where he currently lives. It's almost like, <laughs> this is a weird comparison, but it's like they're sleepers and they're it's like, you've been activated. And he's like, uh-oh, I've been activated. Now I need to be on the mission. It's actually kind of nothing like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll just say it's like that. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the Southern Lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. Okay. I heard a more interesting rumor about the r I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. People claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday, we should check it out. I'll I'll probably do that because it's be if it's been mentioned in the game it exists because that's the laws of video games. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. I'm so glad you announced that to the group because we really needed to know everything that you're about to do in the next five minutes. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Okay, I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. Oh, so that's what these presents are for. Tony, happy birthday, Tony. How old are you going to be? Tell me. Tell me. That's kind of, that's, wait. I'm trying to, no, 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 come on, there. It looks like he has a toupee, or like, a vampire's collar, I don't know. Uh, if we look in Jeff's inventory, he has a big bottle rocket, which is an, a single-use item that does massive amounts of damage to one enemy. He has a boiled egg, which will heal some, some stuffs. He has a ruler, which is useless, so I will drop it, because I should drop it. He also has... He has a protractor, which is also useless, and I will drop it immediately. But he also he has a, a broken spray can, and this is part of Jeff's mechanic. Because in a second, when I look at his stats, you'll see that he has no PP at all. And if we go to status and press A, you'll also see that he has no psychic abilities. Again, strange. And the reason for this is that Jeff does not use any psychic moves at all. He's not psychic. He's just a very intelligent boy that has learned how to use the materials around him uh, to his advantage, I guess I could say. And let's go to my status because I said I would. He's level 1. He has the exact same stats as any character that we've seen thus far that is level 1. But he has no psychic points. We, I can't press A to look at his abilities. So that's interesting. And it's because... You see that there is a broken spray can in his inventory. This is what all the broken items do. Uh, if they're in Jeff's inventory, then if he sleeps and he has the right amount of IQ, so if he has a certain amount or higher for the required item, he will fix that item overnight, creating a usable item. Sometimes they can be weapons, sometimes they can be items, and only he can do this. He has the loan ability that can do this. So any any IQ capsules that increase my IQ permanently by one that I find, I'll probably be giving them to Jeff because even though IQ actually determines how much damage you'll be doing with your psychic attacks, you still, you still should give it to him because otherwise he's kind of useless. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Dr. Andonitz, was here, he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He's also the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. 
And we got the key to the locker. If you leave, call me, and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> okay, he's like an unassuming local guy, but I assume that even though he looks unassuming, he's actually not unassuming in that he's very intelligent. Because otherwise, why would he be in the lab all alone? So, I think the most unassuming thing about him is that he is someone you should be assuming about. Do 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 do. I'm all like Einstein up in here. Let's use that. Let's use that key that he that he gave me. The key is bent and doesn't seem to fit into the keyhole. Okay, so we got a bad key, I guess. <laughs> Back to Maxwell. Yo, I assumed wrong about your key, and it was actually something I should have assumed right. So, Mr. Unassuming Maxwell guy, you here's your key back. Ha ha ha. The key didn't work, did it? Oh no, he's a bad guy. I thought it, I, that might just be the case. So I invented so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially if you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ne uh, Jeff got the bad key machine. I'm used to saying Ness. If you are do if you are Dr. Anun's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just tr try to keep a positive attitude. Thanks, Maxwell. I assumed wrong about you, and I should have not assumed anything. So maybe your sprite of being unassuming is right. No one should assume that you're someone who should be assumed. And yet, I, I have no idea what I was going to say next. Let's just use this key machine before I embarrass myself too much further. There's a broken air gun in the locker, so we have another broken item. Uh, I know for a fact there are only three good items in these lockers, so once we find the third one, then we'll be good. There's a pop gun in the locker, and from memory, the last one is here. Memory, serve me well. Yeah, I was right! I got a Holmes hat. Okay, let's go ahead and equip those things. The Holmes hat goes to this, raises our defense by 10, and the pop gun goes to our weapon, and it raises our offense by 16. Those are some big in increases. They should they should make up for Jeff's low level. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, anything else I should say about Jeff before we go into the fire? And by fire, I mean snow. Um, no. I think I'm good. Can I, wait, can I talk to, I can't talk to Tony. That's lame. They should have an option where I can talk to Tony. That's disappointing. What? I'm sorry, did you just run, like, run face first into that gate and fall? It looks like you just knocked yourself unconscious. Uh, you, you stay right there for a moment, buddy. Just one, one moment. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not just leaving you there. I'm just looking for presents. One sec. Like, did they not, okay, they should totally, wait a minute. No, there are no presents. Oh, that's so lame. They could have put a present here. Ah, disappointment. S wait. You moved. Don't don't act like you didn't move. I saw you move. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Thanks, pal, for <laughs> knocking yourself out for me. Maybe, maybe he didn't knock himself out. I always assume that it's the slapstick possibility is the one that actually is true, but it, he probably didn't knock himself out. That's just stupid. Uh, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. uh, <laughs> I'm so unsure. Uh, we can't use the ATM. That's a fact that I know because I know stuff because we don't have the ATM card, but we can use this free to use phone and I would like to use that right now to save and hopefully change the text box color. So one moment because I haven't saved in a while and I should probably save. Oh, hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes, I would. All right. I have everything written down. Do you want to take a break now? Yes, I do. I don't know where you're planning on sleeping, but have a good rest. Go ahead and turn the power off and have a good night. Thank you, sir. You have one, too. Much better. That looks good. That's what most Let's Players are get used to, but I'm, I'm unique. I, I do everything. I do all the colors. Hey, sir, how can I help you? You can, I guess, I can buy stuff from you. 
Can I get you anything? He has a T-Rex bat for $700, a non-stick fry pan, a coin of silence, a picnic lunch, a skip sandwich, DX. No, actually, no. Skip sandwich, DX. A lucky sandwich, or a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can afford... I can literally afford none of them. That's pitiful. Although, Jeff really wants that coin of silence. Uh, yeah, sorry, bro. No. Uh, oh, wait, no, there's one more thing. There's there's something you can do. Sell... I want sell one cookie. Yeah, I seriously want only... That's... Yeah, the, it's good. Thank you. You did... You did a good job. I like your poster that shows a pineapple and it says hot. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> that was a great segue. I'm like, I love your poster. It says hot on it. And then I'm like, yo, girl, how you... How you doing? There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubblegum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. So... Do you want him? Sure, I guess. Thanks, the monkey's yours. Thanks, I always wanted a monkey. I got the pack of bubblegum and pack is spelled wrong. Is it cold outside? No, it, it's... We, we live in a place called winter, of course it is. You you go do about your own business, Pigpen. I'm just gonna talk to this monkey over here. Q! Uki! Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubblegum from Jeff and blew a bubble. The bubble monkey joins you! <laughs> oh, I love this thing. I love this monkey so much. Because we can make him have seizures. Whenever he stops, just have it just start doing circles and <laughs> He'll just have a conniption fit and it's it's it makes me too happy. Like this this thing is just such a rubber band monkey. Just <laughs> look at that, it's it's so funny. Okay, let's let's move. Now, I guess I should have some backstory for that, those expensive items over there. They're expensive because we'll be coming back here with the main group later on in the game. So, we can buy them then. However, after I fight this runaway dog, yes, we're still fighting runaway dogs, 11 episodes in. Actually, this is a really cool battle. I, need, I have not noticed how good the battle backgrounds were. I just remembered a couple of them. And when I was like, you know, guys, these ones in, um, in this area are my favorite. Man, I forgot how good they got. Okay, let's attack him. But yeah, once we kill this runaway dog, you'll see what I am probably leading on to. For experience, I gained a level. Offense went up by one, maximum HP went up by two. But more importantly... Okay, that, that didn't give me what I wanted. Let's hold off my explanation until we fight another runaway dog, because that that will truly be the time for my commentary to shine. Runaway dog, hello! Thank you for letting me fight you, even though you're stuck in the in the ground. Let me help you with that. Okay, well, let's just attack him. He's dealing one damage to me because I have a hat. That's the reason why I'm taking less damage than Ness did early on. For experience, there it is, the present. A bread roll. Jeff can't carry more stuff, but he can throw something away. Now, <laughs> it's funny, because in the first episode where Ness was level 1, there was an exploit that I did with cookies. And here, with Jeff being level 1, there is also an exploit I can do, not with cookies as much as it is any food item. Uh, I can s actually, yeah, cookies, to totally cookies, because we can get them from the crows. If we get food items, sell them at that shop, we can grind until we can afford the T-Rex bat. Then we can get it to give it to Ness when we finally meet up with him, and Ness can wreck face for a long time, because it's a much better weapon than anything he's supposed to be having right now. So it's it could be worth your while to do this if you're not strapped for time like I am. <laughs> Bro, I, I can really- you're dancing? Are you dancing? He's- he's dancing. Bubble Monkey's dancing. But yeah, it, this is the next point that I will not be doing because it's it's time it's time consuming and I don't want to be overpowered. I want to follow pace with what we're, where we're supposed to be in the game. The tame animals have gone become wild. Something evil is going on. So, why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink. Perhaps some tea? Uh, no, sorry. Not to refuse your hospi hospitality, but I've taken like two damage, so I don't really care. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's fight a dog. 
That's what I mean by do this. Runway dog! Now, I know we just went through a farming episode, but, I mean, with Paula, but it is worth my while to get s some enemies here. I won't be farming. I'm not, that's not my purpose for this episode. But I won't be uh, straight up ignoring enemies either. I'm going to be progressing, but I'll be fighting enemies that I see. Maybe not him. Probably not him, because I, I am certain that he's a little bit more powerful than I should be. Than I am right now, I guess. Is he stuck? No, he's not. Okay, I guess I will fight him. Wonderful. Gruff Goat. Oh, boy. This is a cool background. Uh, Gruff Goat. Yo, bro. Don't kill me, please. Scratching his head. Four. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> You're doing, like, nothing. I thought, I thought he was going to do 30 damage the first hit, because he looks very imposing, but he's <laughs> doing no damage. Are you really? Like you look so cool. You're a cool-looking enemy. Oh, okay. You have an attack. You have an attack. My, I'm sorry. I disrespected you. Um, I might die here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Bread roll, please. Maybe. Can I please? Oh, four damage. Thank goodness. Okay. I underestimated him. <sighs> oh. Okay. But he's still he's still not that good. He's he's still doing only four damage. I just didn't know he had a, a more powerful attack. Gruff Goat rammed, missed, and I did 14 damage. Okay, so they're not that bad. Once I hit another level, I shouldn't be worried about them at all. We got a salt packet. Oh, I took it. I don't want it. Jeff's level's now three. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Good. Eight maximum HP went up by two. So, De Jeff is getting some very respectable level ups. Not anything amazing, not anything horrible, but some respectable ones. So, <laughs> over the past couple episodes, I've said, this is my favorite time in the game, and I'll explain why next time, and the next time comes, and I haven't explained. Well, that's partially because, uh, things needed to happen that I could, that, before, yeah. Things needed to happen before I could explain, and there goes my phone in the background, hopefully you guys can't hear it. And, that time is now. I can now explain why this is my favorite area in the game. It's because where, where we are right now, things are speeding up. We just got Paula a couple episodes ago, and now we're playing as a new character, Jeff. And we've already knocked out a, a, the second? Yeah, second Your Sanctuary location, and we're on our way to the third. So things are moving along very quickly. We're gaining levels faster, and we're not struggling as much. That is why it's my favorite time of the game. I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, no, no, there's no need to pay me. You are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray became the f defense spray. Neat! Let's look at the defense spray, shall we? As I continue to talk about the game. It's also because it's, it's a much... It's a big... It, uh, what is it? A big step away from anything that we've seen thus far. I mean, first we're facing zombies, which we hadn't faced yet. We'd fought cultists, which was new and unique, but now we're fighting zombies and ghosts, and now suddenly we're thrust into the world of winters, and it's all wintry. And you guys know how much I love winter areas. Like, I gushed about it in, uh, in Okami, and it's also the reason why Skyward Sword isn't one of my favorite games, simply because there are no snow, snow areas. So, you guys know that I love snow areas, and I also love creepy things, sort of. So, it, it, it's good. Uh, use the power, this power multiple times to layer the effect. Gone after one use. That's kind of lame. <laughs> They're like, hey, if you use this multiple times, it will be really good. And then... <laughs> They're like, sorry, you can't actually use it multiple times. It's lame. Maybe that whirlpool is... This is what we've been waiting for. Finally, it's coming out! Excuse me. Tessie is emerging. He's rude. So this is the te Tessie Watching Club. They're all out of their tents because they're watching for Tessie. Uh, what is essentially the Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster. What a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. Well, this monkey does, judging by its name. It is the bubblegum monkey. And this is Camera Guy. 
Jeff, meet camera guy. Where is he going? There he is. Pictures taken instantaneously. Brr. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, you ready for an instant memory? Look the camera ready. Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Brr. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Brr. I I'm guessing that he's cold because he's not from a cold place. He's probably just from the sky. He's like a... It's like a sky man. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Well, that's neat, I guess. Y you get that. I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Achoo! I feel like I'm catching a cold. What about you, who's in the trees? Tessie may unexpectedly, <laughs> may unexpectedly uh, be living in the woods. I personally think so. Well, you're not going to see anything in the woods. Maybe you should, like, surround there. I don't know. I'll stop giving advice to these people. Interesting. Kya, ki, kya, kyu. Give me some gum now. Kya, ka, ku, ku, ko. I'll take every. I'll take care of everything. In a magical moment. The bubblegum monkey is promptly swallowed whole by Tessie, and we never hear from the bubblegum monkey again. Oh. <clears throat> I guess that's not what happens. Oh, okay, we, we ride the Loch Ness Monster, because that's, that's natural. We're going to ride the dinosaur over the, the frozen waters. Well, that's pretty at least, and the Tessie Watching Club got their wish. They got to see the legendary Tessie. Too bad the people at Snowwood Boarding House didn't get to see her as well. I'm assuming it's a her, because Tess is a girl's name. I mean, it's a smooth ride, but are we almost there? You, get, you wouldn't happen to have, like, I don't know, a snack? Maybe? No? Okay. Thanks, Tessie. Bye. You were a friend to me for the ten seconds I knew you. Bye. Aw. We're making friends in all sorts of places. And by we, I mean the people here watching. Jeff, not Jeff himself, because we've, we've only played as him for an episode. Okay, so we are supposed to be going down. You know, it'd be kind of neat if you could get shoes. Like, if you could get shoes for Ness, Jeff, Paula, and company, because then you could make them go faster. I mean, I know you can get the bicycle, but I wish that there was different equipment that would make you go fast. That'd be neat. Okay, uh, four damage. I mean, you can you can run in, uh, in Mother 1, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then, I'm not sure about Mother 3, because I've never played Mother 3. In fact, the first time I ever play it will probably be on the channel, but I'm, I'm wondering if that has a run button. Okay, 20 experience and we hit level 4. Offense went up by 2. Oh, baby! Defense went up by 3. That's what I like to see. Guts went up by 2. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. Jeff's levels are never that... Oh, the pencil. Oh, well, we'll be needing the pencil eraser for that. Jeff's level ups are never that amazing. Uh, they, they're respectable. They're never like a bad level up, but they're never astounding that I've seen. So he's one of the more constant members of the group. He never falls out of favor, but he's never really in the spotlight either, except he is in certain instances. But that's not all the time we have for we have today because I would like to go through this area. This is a modest dungeon. Brick Road. So it's a dungeon made by a man named Brick Road, and we'll be seeing <laughs> a lot of this character. Okay, let's fight the mouse, get some get Jeff some levels. I would like him to be level six at least by the time he meets up with Jeff and Paula. I'm uh, sorry, Ness and Paula. Just so he doesn't he's not too bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Um oh goo 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 goo. I don't want to die. I didn't realize my health was getting that low. And I don't have items. Oh boy, I might die. 
Okay. Don't smash. No! No! <laughs> First death was because I was being dumb. Man! Ah. No, but we're, we're... I'm not going to, like, cut it or end it or anything. I'm... I'm a fan of playing it where it lies, and it la it laid down there. How much health do I have? I have full health. That was lame. That was really lame. Okay, I'll meet you guys back there. Died to a mouse, too. That was... Ah. Well, that was embarrassing. Apparently, the rowdy mice are a little bit worse than I remembered, at least when I'm level 4. Mouse? Oh, you attacked me from in front somehow. Well, I'm at full health this time. You're not... You're not doing that to me. Uh, attack, did a smash attack. He did a smash attack as well. I'm going to heal that up immediately because I don't want to take any chances at all. Um, does the... How much does this heal? Hopefully it heals a lot. Okay, you missed. I used the salt packet somehow. I didn't mean to. I've never actually used the condiments. They just increase the strength of healing of some, uh, consumable items, but I've never used them, like, ever. Because they're not worth the inventory space. But apparently I used it there and it was good. Okay, well, we killed the mouse there. Will that give us a level up? Maybe? Yes, it did. Level 5. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 9. That was good. I, I really need the defensive stats right now because Jeff is fine for the offense. He has a weapon, but he's kind of, he's kind of lacking on defense right now. And we got the present. There's a bread roll inside. That's good. I need healing items right now. Okay, now this was a dead end, so let's go down this way. It wasn't a dead end. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> I want to get through this maze before I end, I end it off because it's... You know, it's a maze, and I don't want to end it off on a cliffhanger. You guys saw it. I don't want to do it. Pecked at my eyes, did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage right now. Okay, um... I think we can reliably attack once more. He fell down, so he's not doing much damage to me. Pecked at my eyes. Yeah, he's missing a lot. The mad duck's not that good. He's, he's like a blind mad duck. And he doesn't do that much damage either. I mean, it's, it's fair, but it's not that good. S certainly better than the goats. Shouldn't the goats do more damage? I don't know. I I'm not... I'm not learned in, um... in earthbound animal knowledge. Okay, we got an insecticide spray. I don't actually want that. I'll probably toss it at the soonest opportunity. And that is an enemy. That's a present enemy. I present to you, because it won't despawn, the... Worthless Protoplasm. So it's... what? what is that? Ditto? No, it's not Ditto. What is that Pokemon in Pokemon that can turn into anything? I don't know. Um, ba -da -da. Bread roll. Protoplasm is making himself feel strange, so he's pretty worthless and should feel bad about his face and his life. He's also calling for help, but he has no friends because he's worthless. He just pretends to look like a present so people will approach him, but otherwise, if they saw what he actually looked like, they would be like, nah, bro, I'm not, I'm not into that sort of thing. I don't like, I, I'm not going to be friends with no Jello. Jello's not my friend. Broken iron, that's nice. No, really, that's nice. Broken items on Jeff are good because he'll fix them and they will be good. He makes something out of nothing, which is a quality that I admire in a person. What does this say? Watch for falling materials. Brick road. Oh, <laughs> that's that's funny. That's funny. There's the falling material. Cam uh, camera guy. Pictures taken instantaneously, instantaneously, instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself, myself, myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory, memory, memory. Look at the camera. Ready, ready, ready. Say fuzzy pickles, pickles, pickles. Wow, what a great photograph, graph, graph. It always brings back the fondest of memories, memories, memories. I. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't originally going to be a thing, but it is now. It, it's a thing now where I give him a new voice every time, and it's fun. It's fun. You need to have something in the Let's Play that you look forward to and have fun doing. If it's just a game about the... G oh, man. I can't use PSI. Isn't that a shame? Because I would totally mess him up with the power of my brain mind. But you have to do something in the Let's Play that keep makes it unique and happy. If you just talk about the game the entire time, like I tend to do, then it, it loses its allure. They could just look up a, a walkthrough. 
Jeff's level is now 6. He can level up his ult. He, uh, his IQ went up by 1. His maximum HP went up by 2. That was a bad level up. And here I was saying that Jeff doesn't get bad level ups. Alright, let's get this last, uh, sorry, not last present. I thought we were near the end of this thing, but apparently we're not. We're not. Uh, let's toss that insecticide spray and not the bottle rocket. Goodbye, insect sp insecticide spray. You are dead to me, and you're also, you're never, li never living. So you're, you are dead. Let's make the monkey dance a little bit. He's like dancing. It's cool. Oh! Now, one thing I've noticed about the monkey so far is... There are like two enemies that have approached us from behind, but haven't actually attacked us with a red swirl. So I'm wondering if that's what the monkey does, if he prevents that from happening. Because, like, and two enemies have attacked us from behind, and we've been fine. So it makes sense that the, that the uh, monkey would be doing that. I could be wrong. Once again, I do not profess to be the most knowledgeable person about Earthbound, um, but it seems like that's happening. Okay, abandon the cookie because I'm a horrible person. And now let's let's finish up this maze and finish up the episode because it's been going for a while now. Okay, there's a mouse there. How do my stats look? How good can they look? You know what? I've been carrying these cookies for far too long. I will eat them all because they're kind of... They are worthless. They're taking up inventory space and I'd rather have good items. Uh, we're close. I think one more cookie will do it. There it is. Hello, Rowdy Mouse. I am much better since the last time I met you, and I can bash your face in. Get, go ahead and do a smash tag. I don't care. You'll you'll die before you get serious damage off because my monkey is doing good job. You are too. Snap. Thirty-four experience. I'm close to another level up, and I might get oh the present. I forgot the reason that I came here. A stun gun. Really. Really, that's that's a thing. Stun gun. Jeff can equip the, it's a new weapon for Jeff. Already. Real I'm okay, what does this do over mine? An eight an eight increase. That's an increase of eight, rather. That's good. Okay. <laughs> stun stun gun. <laughs> that's one of the reasons I like Jeff, just because of his items. Like they sound cool. I mean, Ness gets, you know, he gets the T-Ball bat, and the Minor Leaguer bat, and the T-Rex bat, which is arguably a cool name, but Jeff gets the stun gun. How awesome is that? It sounds great. Okay, what does this say? Way to go. Please come back again. Brick Road. From now on, I should sign all of my episodes, Brick Road. I won't actually do that, but I may do it, like, sometime. Okay, uh, hello, hello, Maxwell... <laughs> Whoa, are you phone guy? Hello, hello, Maxwell Labs here. Oh, hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes, I would. You can do the thing with the thing. Continue, you've become such a hard worker. I've got to get back to work myself. Go for it, bad boy. I'll do that. Let's go out here. Just because I want to get a sneak peek of what this is. Maybe it was too easy? My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, uh, well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andrewnut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man, the first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Uh, sure. So uh, we get to save and we get a good night's rest. Neat. That's an excellent way to end off the episode because the game is pleading with me to end it here. Take care. Come back again. And that goes for you guys too. Thank you so much for watching, and next time in Earthbound, we have yet to reach Ness and Paula. You guys thought that we'd reach them in one episode? No. We have a little bit further to go, and I will enjoy doing that with the Seizure Monkey and the Nerd. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how you could make the next episode so that you would like it. And I think I'm back in the swing of things after changing my recording setup and taking hiatus from the channel. It's cool, though, because the schedule's never interrupted, so you guys never really noticed, but I sure did. And I will enjoy recording the next episode of Pal Plays Earthbound. See you guys then!